Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe management of this heart nucleus. This is a nucleus with grade 5 nuclear sclerosis. This is a side port at around 2 o'clock. And now this is a main incision at around 11 o'clock. The main wound is 2.8 millimeter on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now an air bubble is injected. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. And within a very short time, maybe about 10 to 15 seconds, there's a very good staining of the anterior capsule because the dye is not diluted by aqueous. And now the dye is washed out and the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. I use a uterator forceps to do capsulorexis. So before that the anterior surface of the cornea is washed out and visco is applied over the cornea. Here goes the uterator forceps. A capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size structures of about 5.75 millimeter. Remember, in hard cataracts, you must do a large axis, at least 5.5 millimeter. Don't do a small axis. Nucleus management will be very tough if you do a small axis. Hydrodissection is done. Small alicots of BSS is injected at multiple points. Nucleus is stabbed. The nucleus is mobilized. Visco again, and now is the time to go into the anterior chamber with the handpiece. In such cases, in such hard cataracts, what I do is I bury the teeth just in front of the rexis and go through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. First, this stiff, removing some superficial lens matter and now going into the substance of the nucleus with full energy, about 80% ultrasonic energy and as I reach near the opposite equator, I use the chopper to get a good crack. Now I come to the other side, rotate the nucleus on 80 degree, come to the other side and hold on heminucleus and separate the two heminuclei completely. And then on heminucleus is being subdivided into two pieces. You must have noticed that the hand piece, that is the phaco needle, is taking the main role in dividing the nucleus, not the chopper. The chopper is just a modified Sinsky hook. It is known as Mohanta's chopper. It's just a modified Sinsky hook, small thing. It is just helping the, you know, helping the phaco needle to do what it wants to do. So one heminucleus has been managed this is the epinuclear shell, let it be there and protect the posterior capsule. Now I come to the other heminucleus, go through it and divide it like this. And nowadays in heart cataracts, I am doing this, I am detaching the epinucleus and emulsifying the hard nucleus first and the epinuclear shell is acting like a contact lens and protecting the posterior capsule. 
I call it the contact lens concept. A protective lens to protect the posterior capsule and that lens is the epinuclear shell. Done. And this is the epinuclear shell of the previous hemineucleus. At this time, I am thinking whether to do this or not, whether to emulsify this epinucleus or not. And I find that the posterior capsule is very close to the diff. What to do? Whenever your intuition says that it is going to be dangerous, stop. Find out what is the thing to be done to be on the safer side. Never cross the threshold of safety. And now, after injecting some visco, the epinucleus is cleaned. Thank you very much for your attention.